Hello everyone, it's Houndex here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get live wallpapers to show up on your desktop. There are two softwares I'm going to cover in this video. The first one is Wallpaper Engine. This one costs $4, which I think is worth it. So if you're able to get this, I strongly recommend you getting Wallpaper Engine. Otherwise, if you prefer a free alternative, then Lively Wallpaper is still fine. So the first part of the video is going to be about Wallpaper Engine. When you install it, it's going to show up in your task tray. So you want, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the icon and click settings. Now for, in, under the performance tab, head over to quality. And the most important setting right here is FPS. By default, it may be set to 15. But I recommend you setting it to at least 60. Depending on what kind of monitor you have, your FPS may be capped at different values. Mine goes up to 144, but for some of you guys, it could go to 60. But whatever that value is, make sure that's at least 60. Otherwise, it may feel choppy. If you want to get wallpapers from the internet, you're going to have to go through Steam Workshop and download some. You could go on YouTube and look up top 50 wallpapers. A lot of them drop links to Steam Workshop, which will have the wallpapers. The wallpaper I have on my desktop right now is Intersection. If you want to download this, this is how you do it. You, you copy the Steam link right here, and then head over to this website called SteamWorkshopDownloader.io. I'll drop all of these links down in the description below. Now, in this box, right click and click Paste, and then it should load up into this. Now click Download, and then it's going to show up right here. Save it. Now open the destination and then right click this and click extract to uh, whatever the folder is. Once it's done, it should look like this folder. Co go ahead and copy that. Head over to your C drive. Now program files and then find wherever wallpaper engine was installed to. I installed it in my program files, but it could be in your Steam folder. But just look for that and go to projects, default projects and right click and click paste. Now you're going to have to close out the application and then reload it in to give it a refresh and you should see intersection pop up here. In addition, you can also import your own video files like MP4 files, MOV or even WebM also works. So that's pretty much it for the wallpaper engine part of the video. Now I'm going to show you what to do if you chose to download lively wallpaper. Now I'm going to quickly exit out of Wallpaper Engine. Once you have installed Lively Wallpaper, it should show up in your task tray. I'm going to, you want to go ahead and right click, click Open Lively. And then as you can see, there's already a bunch of wa wallpapers that come here by default. Now click the plus sign right here, add wallpaper. And then you want to click Browse under Select File. I'm going to drop a link down in the description below where you can download the, my version of intersection i just recorded this with a screen recorder save it to wherever you wish but make sure you know where the file directory is and go ahead and open that it's going to show the screen once you import it the description can be whatever you want author I, you don't really have to fill this in and you can untick export lively.zip and then click ok it's going to start loading and then there you have it now it's loaded in and as you can see, we successfully have imported the intersection wallpaper. And in addition, you can also use YouTube videos as well. I already had a link in here, so I'm just going to click on that and see what happens. And uh, this is just a fireplace. So I'll just go ahead and import that. And as you can see, it still works. It's just a YouTube video. Instead, just paste a YouTube link in here and you're pretty much good to go. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful in any way. Feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're feeling generous. And I'll see you all in my next video.